Omnya se ala ko holoim la yahwa ba hashim yahwa sai ba hashim rakha khodash to be honor to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and that by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water toward the akim and aqwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws the statutes and commandments of yahwa ba hashim yahwa sai to the best of their ability this is jahanan aqwa it's coming at you with another quick lesson praying that it's edifying by the spirit and I uh, wanted to touch on this basketball game, um, the um, Olympics with the USA and um, Serbia that just um, went off, or whatever. And um, this was like, well, I caught, I kind of caught it like um, maybe midway third quarter, and I didn't know that it was on. I was kind of flipping through some channels or whatever, trying to find, you know, some news or whatever, whatever, whatever. But you know, I peeped. I'm like, oh shit, okay, all right, let me check, check a little bit of this out. So I'm looking at it, and you know, they down, like you know, the U.S. Of course, they down like um, like, like 12 points or something like that. And but I could see like the, the look on those Serbians faces, man. It was like the coach, the, all of them, just every time they pan the camera towards those guys, because them dudes was balling. I ain't going to even front, man, because it seemed like Jake was just one taking their asses serious, you know. And I'm thinking to myself, like, it, you know, I'm like, yup, them dudes got something to prove. They want to prove they know that you're the best. Not only do they know that you're the best of the of the of, of, of you of the United States. They understand that it's spiritual. They understand that it's you niggas. I can see it on the. I can see them coaches like we gonna whoop them niggas. Y'all better whoop them niggas. Probably giving them pep talks and shit about how how much better they are, not knowing that they are heathen and that we are the salt of the earth. The Lord um, um bless Israel, you know, just in a way that no other nation is, has. You know, these other nations don't have it like that. The Lord didn't bless them like that. He didn't give them that spirit like that. So you have to realize that them guys, LeBron, you know, as far as I know, LeBron, Steph, Kevin Durant, probably even Booker. I don't know. Booker, I don't know. You know, Booker, he might be Northern. I don't know. If it, it, any of them could be Northern Kingdom. You know what I'm saying? But overall, that was the, the team is primarily Judah. But they got some goddamn Edomites. Running Judah, you know what I'm saying? You know, as far as um, Steve Kerr, who the fuck else was it? You know what I'm saying? That's coaching. Um, you know, of course, they're going to put Esau over the coaching of it. But see, he, he, he a matter of fact, it kind of reminds you of that movie Get, um, Get Out, where they was pretty much like, you know, your physical attributes with my mind. No, motherfucker, our mind is, is beyond your mind. The fuck you talking about? Our mind goes with the physical part of us, too. That's how Esau was in that movie. He was like, oh, well, yeah, we didn't, we're not as physical as you, but our brains with your bodies. That's the way that they look at Jake. They just look at Jake like we just some niggas that can jump, run, you know, throw a football, basketball. No, motherfucker, we're, we're more intelligent than you, too. Because you acting as if them dudes is out there, you know what I'm saying, don't have to have some basketball IQ. <laughs> you know, that's all that's all pure talent that was out there on the floor really you don't need no goddamn Steph, um, um, Steve Kerr to um, coach them through playing no damn basketball man they can go out there and run them guys man it shouldn't be nothing playground nothing man but anyway I just wanted to just point it out because I'm looking at the, the, the faces of the teammates every time they score they're like yeah motherfucker yeah you know that type of you know what I'm saying the coach is like, you know, you can just see that look of just hatred, pure hatred in them. I'm like, yeah, them guys playing out of hatred. That's why y'all losing. Y'all out there lollygagging. Y'all just acting like, you know, hey, we just, you know, um, um, you know, shit, we in Paris. Fuck that. We're going to pop some bottles after this shit. We don't care. But then I guess it must have kicked in on Jake. Like, man, no, we on the world stage, man. We, these motherfuckers about to embarrass us. We're better than them. And it kicked in on him, man. And I, I actually prayed because I was like, you know, I was, I'm like, you know what? At first I was like, ah, man, I ain't finna pray for these niggas, man. Y'all playing for the USA. Y'all need to get y'all asses whooped. But then I'm like, nope, nope, nope. Hold on. That's Israel, though. I'm taking Israel over, over them motherfuckers any day. I don't care if they two thirds. I don't care how wicked they may be. I'm choosing my people over them clowns any day. So I, I threw a quick prayer up like, how about some outside? Let them boys go ahead and do their thing. I said, Lord, don't let us look bad on the world stage. That's Israel, primarily Judah, Southern Kingdom, you know? And then next thing I know, they started turning on the Jets. Cut that lead down to 12 point. They cut it down to five. Next thing I knew, it was cut down to like um, two. Then they, they tied that bitch. <laughs> now we down to like, you know, three, four minutes, you know what I'm saying, in the last quarter. 
you know, and that's when, when everything got grimy. You know what I'm saying? But the thing of it is, is the look on Judah's face when they realized, let's go. Once they tied that game, soon as they tied, I think the, I think the number, I think they were 82 to 82. Soon as they tied that game, you could just clear the, the camera pan to Judah, the USA team, and you can just see the raw, you can just see the looks on their faces. Now, now, now I can see the spirit on them. They charge now. The Lord, the Lord placed the spirit on them, man, to get charged. Because at first they were just playing, really. You know, just kind of just it's typical play. Them dudes was really playing like, bitch, we hate y'all. And we, <coughs> once we whoop on y'all, we're going to try and get us a contract in the USA. Probably taking one of your positions, nigga. That's how they was looking at Jake. But anyway, I ain't mean to ramble. But I just wanted to set it up, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm looking at it like, wow, bro. Oh, that was that, um. Wanted to get that. Uh, yeah, Genesis 49 and 9. Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey. My son, thou art gone up. He stooped down. He he couched as a lion and as a lion and, and as an old lion. Who shall rouse him up? And it's coming to a point where Judah is going to rouse up, man. The Lord is going to raise up Judah and Judah going and he going to light a fire under Jake, um, Jake's ass, man. And it's going to be full charge, man. See, Jake going, you know, it's going, we, we got some things to go through, but the Lord going to most definitely, when that, when, when that civil war type shit get going, little Egyptian on Egyptian shit get going, man, the Lord going to put the spirit on Jake to get busy. He going to get, he going to put the, the spirit on Jake to get busy, man. Two thirds, Jake going to get busy out here. Like for real, for real. So I'm, <laughs> I was looking, like I said, if you want to watch back those couple of last minutes of that game. You can see the camera actually pan. You can see the camera pan towards both teams. You can see that camera pan towards them. They like, oh man, oh shit. Fuck. They pan the camera on the USA team, man. You can see, man, them, they chest bumping, you know, fist bumping, mouth wide open with the roars, the screams. Like, man, we about to fuck, man, what the fuck? Get fucking. You can see the end of the game. Like Judah, like, man, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> but you know i just found that to be spiritual man because the lord got you know a, as a people we're downtrodden but why you think they put together that whole um so-called black team like that because they understand that we gonna whoop some ass they're not gonna put together no whole bunch of i don't even man i can't even think of a white boy in, in, in um in the nba right now probably other than the one that um the big guy that played for serbia i can't think of this guy's name he played for uh the fuck um anyway i ain't been on my game like that i can't even funny ass name but he was balling too though but anyway i mean you know i just wanted to just touch on that for a hot sack you know hey judah the lord is about to raise judah up man and he got a special love for us man as a people man you know what i'm saying and yeah we you know yeah he, he put an ass whooping on us you know he definitely done a done done a number on us but guess what still he, he, he has not forgotten about us. You know, he, he has remembered us as a people. That's very important to know. And like I said again, man, a lot of our people, man, it, them curses whooping our asses. Deuteronomy 28, them curses whooping on us. I ain't going to front, you know, Jake hate each other. We, we just, we pretty messed up as a people. But when it straight come down to it, you can still see that the Lord is with us, man. He hasn't forgotten about us. So I just wanted to just throw that out there real quick. You know, quick, low, low, low exhortation and it's gonna come a point man where the lord gonna turn jake on jake already riled up shit in a sense you know what i'm saying it's just gonna take you know um um, um a little some 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 to make jake just be like man fuck this place jake already like fuck this place i'm not gonna even front man i kind of <laughs> i had an attitude as of yesterday you know what i'm saying just thinking like you know like man psh, going to the plantation like you know i'm dealing you know what i'm saying you know the scriptures talks about if it's at all possible, be at peace with all men, you know, but I'm just doing my job. But it's not that normal, you know, because normally I would be cordial with them, you know what I'm saying? And just, you know, happy, happy, joy, joy, kind of crack a little joke, you know, all that. You know, but man, it's time to cut all that shit out with Esau. Fuck Esau. Esau don't need to see your teeth. You don't, you don't, you don't owe him that. But see, our people, our people do shit like that because it's to appease them, basically. It's to pretty much overall to... You know, it, it's all that we know. We, we, we've been that, that people that's been smiling and laughing and just kind of just, 
you know, going along with the bullshit because these these people, they, they, they're over us. But now it's at a point, it's getting to a point where, where Jake like, man, fuck out of here, man. Y'all, y'all whoop your, you know what I'm saying? Jake got that, I'll whoop your ass at it. <laughs> you know, I'm at the, at the plantation, um, Edomites is apologizing to me for nothing. Like, what you apologizing for? Oh, dude, I'm, dude, I'm, so, dude, I'm sorry. They can see it, man. I'm like, man, Jake, just, you know, they, 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 they can see that presence, though, too. It's the spirit. But it's, see, it's, it's getting to a point where the Lord is turning the tide. Things are starting to turn now. Oh, that old, I'm telling you, they, because, you know, Jake, two-thirds Jake, though, still, they're going to giggle. They're going to giggle in their face. They're going to tell that joke. They're going to, ha, ha, ha. They're going to change their voice up. They're going to take the bass out of their voice. They're going to, you know what I'm saying, give them that, hey, how you doing? You know, they're going to give them that shit. Two-thirds, yeah, yeah, it's going to, you know, but overall, man, Jake is pretty much like, man, psh, nah, man, <laughs> we tired of y'all. We, you know, we tired of y'all, man. We tired of y'all at every turn. <laughs> like, like we ain't, y'all ain't cut us a break on no, on no level. I'm talking about on no level. Absolutely no level have you cut us no break, man. Y'all been hardcore on our goddamn backs for 500 years, man. With no let up, no mercy. And that's why the scriptures talked about you shown no mercy, you received no mercy. And the Lord said we're going to give them to them double. Kingdom. Kingdom, man, man, you ain't seen nothing, man. You got Jake regular old prisoner bodies, man, out here uh, uh, whooping on y'all. Just think when we get those new bodies, man. It's gonna be terrible, man, for them people, man. These heathen, man, they about to get, they about to get the real, the real business. Real terror is about to come upon them, man. As a matter of fact, let's get that um, let's get that Deuteronomy thirty. Nah, but man, I was like, man, at first I was kind of shitting on them and shit. Like, man, fuck the USA. Y'all niggas need to get your damn done. Like, nah, let me not talk about my people like that. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me throw up a quick prayer for them. Cause I'm like, man, on a world stage, nah, no. Fuck the US. But no, don't, don't make us look bad. Cause y'all representing us as a nation. Just you, 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 <laughs> just you couple of guys. Y'all representing millions of us. Right, but this is Deuteronomy 30 and 7. It says, And Yahweh thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And this is what we're starting to witness, too. And matter of fact, you know what? I just I was about to go off into this, this lesson on this chick right here. Let's see if I still got it here. And Esau out here, man, doing 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 themselves dirty right now. They they losing it. So if they they acting the way that they acting right now, just because you know, they done lost a job or, you know, the economy done got bad. Inflation done went up. Man, we've been dealing with that kind of shit. So if y'all acting, if they acting the way that they acting right now, just think about how they're going to act when, when shit, when, when they're in the kingdom, man. Just think about how they, they can't handle. Look at this, this chick right here. Mom who strangled infant son and drove around with body for several hours says parenting was the best two months of her life. Only two months? Ah, damn, bitch. Shit, we was going through slavery. Shit, grandma, shit, 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 shit. Mama was nursing y'all goddamn babies. You know, watching the babies from the rapes and shit that y'all, that, that, your, that, your, that, your, that, your, that your, that your, your damn husband was going out and raping the women. He impregnating women. He watch, they watching them babies. They got your baby on the tit. Plus, you know, uh, uh, their own, you know, children from, you know, their, the husband that, that the so-called white man would allow them to have or marry. Jumped the broom with, so to speak. Two months, bitch. 31 years old. Anna Louise England. <laughs> and Miles. Oh, let's see here. The 31-year-old woman in Colorado will spend several decades behind bars for killing her. Several decades. How many decades did it? it, it, it you see? And that's how you know these. this is Esau, too, because they get that slap on the wrist for bullshit. That had to been a so-called black wine. Come on, bro. I know this lady here, though. Um, um. Now, nah, anyway, <sighs> she said uh, had initially been charged with first first degree deletion and first degree deletion of a victim under the age of 12 by someone in a position of trust, which carried mandatory ma uh, minimum sentences of life in prison with a chance for parole. However, she reached a deal. What the fuck is you reaching a deal for? You know, this bitch kid. This is what I'm talking about with Esau system, man. You know, she done it. What you need to make a deal for? Go ahead and get that bitch that that that, that business. 
They actually credited, they said they credited her <laughs> with 423 days. Man, you gotta be kidding me, bro. These people crazy. Anyway, the point that I wanted to make on it is, is this bitch rode around with her, baby. She's like, oh, you have the best two months of my life. You couldn't handle two months with a baby? Let me see. Let me get the picture of this chick. Here she go right here. It's a lock here. Here she go right here. Damn. Lost it. It's a lock here. Looking doofy as hell. Here she go. They don't have that. Let me see if they got a picture in here real quick. Because we can actually go. We can Google it. Because see, they, they try and get try and get a little slick when it comes to um Esau, man. Matter of fact, we don't put her damn name on Google. And we'll, we'll get the full-fledged face. Damn it. Since y'all want to play games. But see, when it comes on... When, see, that's just like that basketball game I was watching. Once the pressure hit them, they, they can't handle. Jake been, man, Jake been going through all kinds of shit since we done been on this planet, man. As a people, we've only had like 40 years of peace. With King Solomon. Let's see here. Yeah, they're going to show her. Here we, here we go. Some images of this bitch. Here we go. The best two months of your life. The fuck kind of shit you going through that you, you, uh, you, you know, you're going to strangle the baby and just ride around with the baby. Man, you could have, you could, all that riding you was doing, you could have took that baby to the fire department. They got places where you can drop off babies, man, when you're having problems like that. This stupid, doofy. You see what I'm saying? See, Esau is starting to, um, you know, the, the, those curses are starting to fall upon them. They, they catch the baby crying too much. Uh, baby get the teeth and, you know, the little damn teeth cutting through them gums. They can't take stuff like that, man. Yeah, E doing A. I'm to hey, E all in the hood now looking crazy as hell. Begging for help and shit. Like, man, you don't get the hell away from me. But we're starting to see those curses reverse. But, you know, this, this is something else right here. I was going to do a whole another separate lesson on that. But um, I really wanted to, hey, Pete, <laughs> you got to really watch these coaches. You got to watch the coaches, watch this, the players of the Serbian team when they flash the camera. I, I'm not going to go into it because I don't know if they're going to do a copyright or whatever. They got me on some shit the other day. But anyway, you're going to see that those coaches and those players got complete dreadful Hatred for you Negroes, man. And they know that they're playing against the best, but guess what? They want to make you look like, no, we're better than you. When the Lord said, nope, uh-uh, nope, that's my, that's my chosen. That's my inheritance right there. That's the apple of my eye right there. You see what I'm saying? But let me, let me grab one more, too. This, this one comes to mind. Gotta love it, man. Ezekiel 35 and verse 5 it says because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time in the time of their calamity in the time that their iniquity had an end therefore as I say Salakia, therefore as I live saith the Lord the Lord God I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee since thou hast not hated blood even blood shall pursue thee and I just wanted to bring that out because all these nations, when you go off into Psalms chapter 83, they have a complete perpetual hatred for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All these nations, all of them, from the so-called Chinese, the Japanese, Russians, Ukraine, I don't give a fuck where we at, these people hate us. They hate us throughout the entire globe, and the Lord done it that way because why were the children of Israel, and they know it. We are his chosen. So now the Lord is going to reverse those curses onto them. And, and you can clearly see they, they can't handle. These motherfuckers have been jumping on, on rooftops throughout this past month. They've been deleting the whole family. The damn dog. All over a little bit of pressure once you lost the job. Okay, well, all right, well, shit, man. Just keep on searching like how Jake would normally do. You just shit. You take the L. <laughs> you, you know, you put in for some damn applications. You might actually take. See, Jake don't mind taking a job that. That's, you know, pretty much beyond. They can have all the qualifications in the world, all the degrees in the world. But they will take a job just to just make some money to keep shit going until they get back up into something that they were already in, so to speak. Now, Esau. Shit, Esau not doing no shit like that. See, Jake, the type he can come. Well, I don't know about these new Jakes. 
<laughs> he can come from a high level office job making, you know, whatever amount. And shit, Jake can stand on the damn drive through at a fucking McDonald's, man. Just give money until, you know, Jake built like that. That's just the way that it is. That's just the way the word built. But when it comes to Esau, psh, this motherfucker come down from a six figure job and he got to go and do some shit. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking $22 an hour. What the fuck is that? You know, he can, he can drive. <laughs> and that would be a, a good good wage for Jake. Now, Esau, mm-mm. He'll try and make it happen for a little bit, but man, overall, that shit get the get the get the kick in his ass. He out of there, especially the woman. That so called uh, -uh the so called white woman. She's out of there. She is not playing no games. That's just like that movie, The Road. When um um who was that uh Charlize? What was her name? Charlize, the weirdo, the weirdo from Africa, the so called white woman that um adopted those little black um little black boys and turned them into little girls. Charlize Theron or whatever the fuck her name is. But in the movie, she plays the mother. And she just walks out into the cold. You don't even see that bitch no more. The dude, her husband is like, well, why are you leaving? <laughs> Stay. What about our son? Oh, that bitch is like, fuck that, man. They gonna, they gonna, they, they gonna rape me. They gonna eat us. <laughs> she was like, uh-uh, I'm out of here. Well, later on, you know. And, and you, she, just, she just left that nigga to his demise, man. That, 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 that guy was out there throughout the whole movie, man, with a damn revolver with one bullet in it, just in case they caught his son. You know what I'm saying? He was teaching the, the little boy how to put the gun in his mouth and just go ahead and take his, um, delete himself just in case that he get caught. So he didn't get, um, you know, uh, 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 you know, raped or, or, or eaten. Well, they was going to eat his ass anyway. I didn't give a fuck if you put a bullet in your head. They just going to gut your ass and throw your ass on a grill. But he mainly was doing that because he didn't want that that little. He knew they weren't saying it in the movie, but if you paying attention, he didn't want his his little boy to be um um, um raped, man, ravaged, man, by them dudes, because that's pretty much what was going. Because there weren't no women in the movie. You ain't seen no women. I ain't, I ain't see no women in that movie other than the ones. If you if you've watched the movie, I don't you know mean to give it away. You know where they went off into this house and they had a whole bunch of people down in the basement where they was just kind of chain their asses up, holding on to them. You know to kind of gradually eat their asses but i think it was like one or two women maybe one one old ass woman in there then you had another woman she ended up losing her husband she got you know and she went crazy when she lost it because he ended up getting killed then it was another woman that was in the movie you know what i'm saying yeah, it was only like other than that it was a, it was a man's world that was it And then you had this old ass man. That's how you know they was raping the dudes and shit. That's how I, I kind of pulled from it. Because you had an older guy in the movie. Where, you know, kind of later in, into the movie, about towards the end. And the little boy was kind of sent. He was effeminate as hell, though. You know what I'm saying? Because that dude wasn't raising him to survive anyway, if you ask me. But, you know, he was like, well, Papa, he's hungry. The old ass man. He couldn't see, really. Cataracts and shit. He gave that nigga a can of beans. I No, a can of, um mixed fruit or some shit and he ended up throwing that shit up and spitting it up or whatever but anyway the guy asked him would you like to have dinner with us and so when he asked him that the old man he said what i gotta do for it that's how i knew i'm like oh yup esau with the nastiness <laughs> they didn't show like you know what i'm saying none of that lgbt shit in there but they slipped like some little little um little nuggets in there to let you know yeah they was doing stuff like that Cause that old man shit, I think he said he was in his 80s or 90, whatever the fuck. He was barely getting along. He was just kind of walking on along, you know what I'm saying? But the, the guy asked, hey, would you like to have dinner with us? He was like, what I got to do for it? You know? And looking like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. They, they threw that twist in there. But anyway, that's Esau, man. Esau is about to be out here doing all kinds of weirdo shit. They already doing a bunch of weirdo shit. Just weird as hell, man. This whole election and shit starting to get weird. Starting to see the freaks come out from everywhere. <laughs> it's just all getting weird, man. But anyway, I, I you know, I kind of went from talking about the, 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 the USA game, man. But, man, when I tell you, when LeBron and them came back, them boys had that lion on the face. Boy, like, you mother... You don't know who you're fucking with. <laughs> so, that, hey, that's how, hey, that's how Jake going to be in the end of this thing, man. So, I'm going to end out there. I pray that the lesson was edifying. With that, call me your solo. Bye, bye, bye.